welcome to Celebrity Friday. We don't have any celebrities today, I think. But we have celebrity gist. <laughs> <laughs> but first, I have to banter with our ladies. How are you doing? <laughs> this is your Igwe looking... Um, it's an Igwe something. What's happening? Igwe. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we are having... Like? Um, primary day in school today and mm. um, all the children are supposed to represent the evil culture so my oh. children are dressed in the evil attire yeah. but the mothers are supposed to follow suit follow suit <laughs> wear the evil unfortunately i don't have double rapper i don't have george <laughs> i don't have anything i called well, her my colleague she didn't pick my call <laughs> eh? <laughs> it doesn't matter as long as she's fine <laughs> you, look, <laughs> you look like an evil girl very yellow you and don't, at least complete. that one is already yeah, yeah. she should be ashamed of herself as that, a bini woman you have two rapper who will i use it for i didn't even know how to tie it and i have them ah too. can you imagine so that you should, you should. but i think it's well, just beautiful though them. thank you yeah, very nice. the, the Cultural day just clicks with um, what we discussed yeah, on the international, international day, yeah. um, improving people's cultural awareness. Mm -hmm. Every Igbo person now will know this is the way Igbos should dress. The international this is the day for the African child. So mm -hmm. then, then, then this is not the right blouse, though. But you, well, you try. You look beautifully Igbo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me jump to Nima. How are you doing, Nima? Nima is fine. Today is day two of Ramadan, so I'm still sober, reflecting okay, your on teeth, everything empty, religious. For, for, empty for, for the purpose sure of that not, that not, that <laughs> the Muslim person. And today is the first Juma service in Ramadan, so everybody should do everything possible to maximize your reward today. Okay, all right. And see, people are loving your hair. Yes. Oh, well, um, yesterday it took me hours to untangle or detangle the hair. And everybody kept saying, that, oh, your hair looks so nice. They don't know the process, you know. I love my hair. I love the process. And um, I think... It's so nice. Can I touch it? Yes, you can. Please. Oh, soft like a baby. Oh. Yes, but it, it took a long process to get to it. But I, I'm, I'm, I like the fact that I could do a whole lot with the hair. And I'm, I like the fact I'm inspiring people to go natural. So it makes me feel good. It's only inspiring me, but for some reason, man is an, not as full as you. So <laughs> we'll get there. I can't achieve the same result. I don't think I, I mean, you can't hold up, but honestly, you see my hair is terrible. But I thank God. I was like, ah, this is your front hair is growing. God that doesn't really perform miracles. <laughs> God really performs miracles. So your hair is now grooved as a miracle. As Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we have a news mention today. Today is World Sickle Cell Day, mm. and it's celebrated all over the world. World Sickle Cell Day was established by the United Nations General Assembly back in 20, 2008 to, in, in order to increase the awareness about the sickle cell disease and its cure among common public. So do you guys know anybody who is sickle cell? I feel um, my, the first, like the, within the first week that I met my husband, our conversation went into what was my genotype. And I was mm. surprised. I didn't understand why he was asking because he was AS. He is AS and I'm AA. So I think that he just wanted to take no. that out, you know. And I feel that we need to generate more awareness concerning sickle cell. Let people know that if we you're AS, that don't even fall in love no, with we someone. No, need to make that, that a topic because Love sometimes is blind. Love, I mean, you can't help love you happens, fall in love. But with. you see, um, I watched this movie, uh, Dazzling Mirage, and I cried, you know, because sickle cell is dear to my heart. You understand? And a lot of times we truly don't know what these people go through. Mm -hmm. So, however you think you're in love, you know, I mean, when it comes to the health of that child, I think you should consider because it is hmm. not an yeah, easy I think, process. I think we should make it a hot topic on this. Yes, Maybe we, we should, should dwell on that. But we would should. you be willing to actually yeah. date a sickle cell person? I think it's a, it's a topic mm. to discuss. All right, we'll take a quick break. When we return, we'll go through the front pages of the newspaper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Right, we're going to breeze through this because we have lots of gist this morning. So <laughs> we can't spend too much time on these people. <laughs> the punch. Fresh crisis brews in APC over Senate posts. Parties NWC, that's National Working Committee, meeting deadlocked. Tinumbu's banners disappear from APC Secretariat. You can see a picture here of them towing, um, actually lifting Toyota Lexus impounded. Rivers officials impound ex-commissioner's jeep. I met an empty treasury in Rivers, says Wiki. Hmm. Delayed cabinet, stock market investors lose 238 billion naira. EFCC detains Ohakim for seven hours and quizzes Lamido. Reps lobby for office spaces. Hmm. White gunman kills nine African-Americans in church. 
banks record 23.3 billion naira fraud in nine months. Fireshe paid self 720 million naira salary arrears, <coughs> APC alleges. Fire at Zenith Bank headquarters in Lagos. Hmm, really? Did anybody read that? Yes, I did. Oh, what happened? It was a small that, that fire. That's a beautiful building. They, and I just said it. They, they, they had it contained within a few hours and oh, that's good. in fact when one of the bankers was contacted to say something he just said are ah, you journalists because they, they had blown the, the story out of proportion and everybody was thinking the, the entire headquarters had mm. been you know overtaken by fire but it was a small fire from a small department and it was contained within the shelter. fantastic that's good so fashion is working no sorry somebody is working right who oh. read the fire share story oh, no well, what else do you want to pick up here? Um, well, I want to talk about the wiki. Um, no, no, wiki. My, 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 and I, I don't. The story mm. now, wiki said that. According to this, <laughs> yes, yeah, let me establish before I give my opinion. Wiki said that is that the governor of River State currently said that the properties that the previous administration mm. commissioners mm. and office holders have with them belong to the state and that he is going to he has given he has written a letter to them that they should re re bring all the cars back but that some of them didn't bring back and one particular person that's mm. the former commissioner for i think information sh the they took a bulldozer mm. um and a forklift a forklift <laughs> and a towing vehicle to move the car mm. you know and i feel really concerned that all through we've been in go the, the, the government has been sworn in for almost a month right now mm. And we've seen Lagos State Governor Ambody do so much. And all we've been hearing from River State is picketing, oh, this was this this took place. They are meeting well, an empty treasury. Well, the federal government too. They we're not, yeah. we're not really seeing them really work, really. They but just what, how can you say the federal government hasn't worked? No. The first statement, I'm going to send all the military defense so down to the Borno State, and they moved. Within that same time, we've had a case of him traveling to attend major meetings that are going to resolve the issue of Boko Haram. He said the first thing is going to be security. So the there's not and transitioning you're talking about is because Lagos State it is was continuity. yeah it's like more of continuity. It diff but we shouldn't in a, in a, I mean be the case. We can't justify. Yeah, we shouldn't okay, be let the case. Me ask well, let's move on to the nation. I don't want to spend too much time on, on this. this nation DSS grills refineries MDs in multi-billion sorry refineries MDs. In multi-billion dollar oil deals, you can see our new action governor, Almadi, you know, lifting his hand, suggesting <laughs> he's doing some serious work. AFC, AFC, I said AFC, APC accuses Fireshe of drawing 720 million um, Naira first term salary arrears. Controversy hits sale of Delta Steel PLC and defense headquarters disagrees with Chad over bombings in Borunum. Right, what are we saying? Fireshe. Fireshe. Fireshe, according to the APC in um, Ekiti State, is alleged to have paid himself arrears of his first term. That's eight months arrears, which should amount to about 720 million. And the, he is saying now that you know that's baseless because what he's entitled to is not even up to that amount. And if you calculate it for eight months, it will be up to 720 million. The issues for me are if truly, truly he did um, what he's alleged to have done, he was impeached. Well, the, well, the court said the court his said impeachment that was null and void. He was impeached, and he never got back to office. Most impeachments, when you get to court, the court would look into it and then they will stop at that point. It is the House of Assembly that determines whether he's entitled to any arrears or not. He's not, you know, to pay himself such an amount of As money. As you said, we're not sure. It's this alleged. Is, so if is an I'm using the words yeah. alleged, yes. you know, so, so if he's alleged, if he has done any such thing, he should please. All right, let's move on. Vanguard. <laughs> APC federal lawmakers in fresh face off. Party wants to appoint principal officers of Senate and House of Reps. Saraki Dogara supporters regroup to resist party's bid. It's our right to elect National Assembly principal officers, says lawmakers. Ramadan, drop your arms, embrace peace. Buhari PDP tell Boko Haram. Egba chief Oyebade assassinated in Ogun. Corruption, EFCC arrest Ikedi Ohakim an ex emo governor. All right, the APC lawmakers face off. I, I, I'm, I'm worried, I'm concerned. They've been sworn in since two, uh, for about two weeks now, and all we've been hearing, um, all we've been hearing uh, is just about going back and forth between who, who would uh, head whatever That's position. That's important, though, because the majority whip, I mean, the, the, the minority whip, I mean, the, the Senate minority leader, leader, minority leader, minority leader, these are important positions. How come that two people 
voted on the platform of APC now seem to be totally against the leadership of APC and every decision they make. I wonder why you would first allow yourself, you pledge allegiance to a party structure, you allow the party structure to take you up to the level of being a senator and an House of Rep member, and suddenly you now take a position that whatever the House of Assembly, whatever the party is saying, you are regrouping. That's what the LNC, you are well, regrouping the, to the fight should, it. They should try and put their house in order. My concern in that, uh, the Vanguard newspaper is the story of uh, the Egba chief that was assassinated mm. in his house. Very sad. Because um, he's the um, Oluwo of Ikono, an area in Abokuta. And unfortunately, some uh, IAD assassin just came into his house and shot him dead wow. for no reason. So, so we're nice waiting way. for investigations to tell us. All right, moving on to exactly Daily Sun. We just hope, just like you said, we hope APC can just Do sort out this matter because we really want to start work. That's all we're seeing on the papers. Oh, Hakim arrested. EFCC quizzes ex emo governor for six hours. Lamido also interrogated. Diazani's brother escapes abduction in Bayelsa. <laughs> thank the Lord. <laughs> Serious thank the Lord, man. Some people have been paid, man. <laughs> Five <laughs> evil shrine worshippers docked in Ibadan. Hmm. People regain power in 2019, says Mimiko. Mm -hmm. You're a bad loser, Senator Stel Kwakwanso. Any stories there? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let's the Guardian. <laughs> Obviously, we didn't read papers this morning. No, <laughs> <laughs> right. It's Friday. Auditor General in Dykes Ministries agencies over poor records and graft. You can see picture here. I guess we're taking a moment during the moment of silence for the nine killed in the church shooting in Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, such a sad, sad, sad story. Very painful. Even the, the, the pastor too was killed. Mm, yeah. Right. Uh, uh, what else? What other story? It's heartbreaking, says Obama of Charleston Church. We talked about that. No, All right. mm. we've not talked I about it. it the guy, this guy seemed to be a very young guy. That's, mm -hmm. that's 21. 21 years old. You know, and I'm wondering, like, uh, what? And he actually be? attended the service. He attended the service. Oh. Eh. He's on the school and class. finished at the end before he started shooting. shooting. Like, I'm wondering. But you see, the thing is, you know, I've been wondering, like, why do they check me when I'm going to church with my handbag? Do you understand? Mm, so now I think that a lot of them, they need to start checking all these no, young people no, but coming from into that, church. We, we also have a lot of people suffering from psychological problems. That's, that, that young boy obviously is not right in his mind. And apart and from that, he, he got his his father a gun for gave his... him the gun for his, for his first, first day. Exactly. That's another thing against... How would you do that? Yeah. <sighs> because if, if we we must that, ensure we don't get to that point. Because the control. guy has been thinking, where can I make use of use this, this gun? Do you understand? <laughs> and he now decides... Of all the gifts but I think, this well, I think for the church, actually, to protect um, the members all of the, the church, they should start to check okay. people coming into the place of worship. It tells you that no, it's not everybody's mind that is... That is godly. Yeah, <laughs> that is godly. Um, last paper. This day, selection of Senate leader, others may pose another challenge for APC. Buari orders disposal of nine presidential aircraft to cut costs. Oh, for real? Hey. For real? Hey. And you say it's not working. working. <laughs> <laughs> hey. This Baba time I'm working Baba has cleared the aircraft. <laughs> it's true, Jerry, right? Baba is, Baba, Baba, Baba is working. <laughs> but CBM banks meet on Forex rules to avert JP Morgan e ejection. Okay. Ah. So Baba said, let me read it again. Just that get it in here. Mm -hmm. Buhari orders disposal of nine presidential aircraft nine. to cut cost. How do they want to dispose of it anyway? No, they had ten Maybe before. They will sell Maybe it. They will sell it no, out. No, because what... I, okay. This the, the, the thing I think they... I mean, w the plan I thought in my head that would, would happen in this case is converting those aircraft to, national to our national carriers. Because we don't have any national carriers. The point is we, we have so overbloated, we just we keep but spending yes. money. No, Everything but if we have a national money. carrier, it will generate... We don't more need national money. carrier. Money. Management is the major problem. So let's just sell and make it's money. It's possible the, the country is actually willing to partner with maybe a company, maybe an Air and Arik or something to have that national carrier. So they don't Arik is supposed to be like our national... And they can dispose it to even a, an ah. Arik. Baba is working. He, he, yeah, he's doing the right thing. All right. Uh, I address. just woke up all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> we are waiting for more. We want to hear more of this kind of story. Yeah. Yeah. We're mm. going to take a quick break. When we return, mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're going to have to talk to a few guests. Center of Values and Leadership. They're here to tell us about what they're working on. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Joining us to talk about the Center of Values and Leadership is the Programs and Relationships Manager, Mr. James Ibube, and the Project Officer, Ms. Kike Fasusi. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. All right, so, so what much. is this project about? What are you guys working on? Yeah. What is the Center for? Center for Values and Leadership is 
a non-government organization founded by Professor Pat Utomi in 2004. Okay. And then our vision is to become a global center of excellence in leadership development. And one of the programs we hope to achieve this you know, vision is what we call the Role Model Forum. The Role Model Forum is an interactive section where we bring in high profile CEOs or managing directors of companies, of corporate organizations, they come and talk to young people, you know, in a session which is interactive, which is practical, a kind of practical session, a mentoring session, where young people learn from the experiences of those coming to share their okay. life and career experience. That is why we are here to talk to people okay. about the Rome or the Forum. Yes, as a project officer, what is what what, 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 the whole project going to, how is it going to take off? Okay, um, we've been having civil, the role model forum, it's a monthly event, oh. which holds, yes, it holds um, third Saturday of every month. Okay, and um, for this month, we'll be having a, uh, we're open to have three speakers. Um, and one of, the, the names are Dr. Ibe Kachuku, the vice president of ExxonMobil Nigeria. Mm. Um, Chief Tunde Afolabi, the, the CEO and Managing Director of Omni Petroleum. Also, we'll be having um, Mr. Deolu Akiyemi, the MD, the MD of uh, Avenues to West, West Africa. Okay, so do we pay to, do people pay to attend this um, forum? No, the program is free. It's free for everyone to attend and it's going to happen this Saturday, tomorrow at number six, Balarabe Musa Crescent by 1004, VI, that's CVL office. The program is free. There's no fee attached to that. Do we need to register? You don't need to register. Just come to the venue and then you'll be admitted. Oh, that's okay. good. So yes. the idea is to have these big MDs okay. be like a role model. Also yes. Speak exactly. like a role model to young people. Yes. And your target market are young people, university. Yeah. But is there an age bracket that you're looking at or just anybody? Actually, the, tar the target group is young people between the age of 18 and 40. But oh. if you are even above 40, 45, yeah, 50, you can come, you can come because we are also <laughs> looking at uh, developing the young entrepreneurs. You know, people are already in business, whether you are above 40 or, but once you want to start a business, mm. you want to go into business, you want to go into politics, you want to go into leadership, you know, positions. That's the program for you. Okay. Um, I, I attend a lot of conferences mm -hmm. and we have speakers talk. Now, would there be an avenue for you to now have like a one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. mentorship with these people? Or mm -hmm. is just going to be talk and we walk away? No, it is not talk and walk away, you know? Mm -hmm. they, we, we've had more than 80 top CEOs in this country that, that are featured in this program. And what we do, we have a civil club we are, you know, people register to become members. members okay. And those who are members of CVA Club, we have one on one, you know, mentorship. So for the membership, yes. I have to pay then? Yes. Exactly. Okay. Okay, okay interesting. Yeah. Now, so what time does it start on tomorrow? 11.30 a.m. Okay. At 6 Balara Bimusa Crescent of okay. some man was to Victoria Line. What's the capacity of that? Because there's always an issue with um, crowd. I mean, because anyway, right now, now that you're sending people on TV, what if you have like a thousand people through that place? Yeah, <laughs> what's the capacity of that place? Yeah, is it properly ventilated? How is the place, the, the whole place going to be? Yeah, first we have a big compound. Okay. We have a three halls. We have a major hall. We have a over two overflows. Oh. So no matter the Size number of, the of people, sure okay. we're going to manage is that. Is Patatomi going to be there? Because we like to see Patatomi. Yeah, yes. yeah, I'm very sure it's going to be there. <laughs> it's going to be there. Yes. This is a good project. So the idea is to bridge the gap between um, leadership, grooming people for leadership. Grooming, you know, in Nigeria, young people shy away from Taking political positions. positions, maybe because of lack of leadership skills, skills lack of capacity, Lack okay. of resources. Yeah. So here we build the leaders, the leadership skills of young people to Fantastic. be able to go into things yes, like politics. So to, to, yeah. to call out. Um, yes, you can reach us on 080 080 583 or 081 462 866 45. Okay, or you can send. We'll send that on we'll, Twitter. We'll send so it on Twitter. Okay. Okay. 
So six dollar a people, sir. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. We'll hopefully we'll tell everybody on Twitter and everybody. And if we, if we can make it too, we'll try to be there. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, fantastic. Thank now, you for having us. You. We'll take a quick break. When we return, hmm. Hmm. I'm not I'm not there. Oh, <laughs> well, I did not start this gist. It was Jumoke's fault. Right. <laughs> I'm discussing Tokemakewa and her husband's alleged extra right affair. Stay with us we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. As I said, this just is too sweet that you might have to just come. Anyway, an on-air personality and a television host, Toke Makinwa, is having issues with her marriage to Maje Aida. Her 18-month-old, sorry, their 18-month-old marriage has been in troubled waters since news broke out that her husband, Maje Aida, allegedly impregnated his former girlfriend, Anita Solomon, who is currently in the UK to deliver their baby. Mm. While some of their fans are angry with her husband for impregnating an ex, some are saying, oh, well, the vlogger who mostly vlogs about how to keep your man, uh, hold of your man, how come this happened to you? What are your thoughts on this? Now, you can call us on 070-806-68014. You can tweet to us at your VTV TVC. I want us to be very careful. No, we're not our judging. Objective, one second, our objective mm -hmm. is not to laugh or mock at anybody. No, we're not. Our objective is because it can happen to anybody. True. Sure. My tongue speaking, pastor looking husband today, Baba Beji can say, you know what, I have a love child somewhere tomorrow. Mm. Your good relationship man who, you, who we're like, oh, fantastic relationship. Any, anything can happen to any one of us. So if we could be in her shoes at this moment. You have taken the so water. We have just so finished the point the is, The point is, we're discussing it. So that we as what went say, wrong? Oh, how what, can we from, prevent from, from, from it? From the facts, once I got from the facts that we have, what do we think went wrong? From what we know, and what will we do if we're in her shoes? If that kind of thing happens to us, mm. what will we do? Okay. I think that's the angle we should take it from, so that other people can learn mm. from this situation and not just mock because that's not the idea. Or just mock. talk about it. Well, our sister's mm. keeper. We're not here to mock anybody. Sure. Mm. All right. <sighs> okay. Your okay. power. Uh -huh. story. <laughs> so, um, Toke got married in. January 2014, she had been dating the guy for allegedly 12 years. Now, she broke up with him just a few months before the marriage happened. Mm -hmm. And people were saying that um, maybe he had gotten used to being with her. That's why he proposed to her. He didn't really love her when this happened. Anyway, the story is he must have been concurrently dating the Anita girl. Because when she opened her face, Devon, he said on it that he's taking her virginity and then she's, he's forever. Now, um, anyways, what happened was in April, Toke, she does v, um, vlogs, spoke about somebody who was, um, what's the right word about chasing her husband? Yes. Um, Anyway, somebody, uh, no, somebody who was on her husband's Obsessed case with her husband. and that um, her husband even had to call the police on the lady we then found out that this lady is actually even pregnant for the husband so was he stalking is the right word thank you so was he making it seem like he was calling the police to please her and he was actually dating mm. that other lady on the side mm. now the story is that w why this makes news is Toke is known for advising how to know if you are the side chick, how to know if there's another lady, how to keep your Nigerian man, mm. and all of those things. And unfortunately, her man, and then, man. The, the first thing that comes to my mind is that God humbles us in different ways. It if will. you think that you're God in your life, it shows you he is God. Mm. You know, and this is not to mock her, it's just to say that nobody knows it all. You are not perfect, you know. You can only give advice, you know, you don't know it all. Mm. All right, let me jump to. I have a, I yes. have a, I ha, you know, I noticed something over the, all through the social media, a lot of hateful comments. I'm saying, predominantly from ladies, and I keep wondering why would you do this? Because, like you said, it's we, who? Uh, um, on, like not even the manu, toke ah tokes I too know is too much, and I look at it. You see a young lady in her thirties, early thirties. She just had her 30th birthday not quite long, and she's successful. She's beautiful. They, they, they people just they, they love to hate her. They, their comments are not nice. I'm like, we put on supportive. Oh, she's too, she's too vague. She's always going to parties. I read so many comments and I feel, why would women do this to each other? Mm. Mm. If you see someone with situations that are challenging and she's in a very challenging place and I'm happy about her response. Her response was that she got a lot of love from ladies sending her text messages and males exp 
expressing themselves about going through this and that they understood what she's going through and that God is taking her through a process to help her understand Excuse better me, how on. to teach ladies. Can I explain something to you? <laughs> Next time, when you see a Calaba mixture with Lebanese, <laughs> it's a thing to be careful about. That's not even no, 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 no. I, I, I'm trying to make a point here. The truth is that analyzing in my head what I think went wrong, I went through a lot of um, research about her. There's so much uh, that clouds you, especially when you're in the eye of the public, that sometimes you relegate what is most important to you. That's mm -hmm. what you think you that did. Is what, that's what I'm saying. That is my own interpretation. interpretation. Because first of all, um, if every man, every man wants to know that his wife, she's good in bed, she's good in the kitchen, and she shows him undivided attention. Oh. Every, men behave like babies. You have to show them that, okay, no matter mm -hmm. how much I am a celebrity and all that, I am still so underneath you. Suggesting you know why I say this? Mm -hmm. Because when we went through her Instagram page, she had deleted a lot of pictures. I am thinking in my head that, is she in a state where she's saying that, maybe out of pride, that uh -uh, how can he hold me? That uh, is giving out relationship this this thing. Mm. This man went ahead to do this, so she deleted all his pictures, so that let them let her show the man that she yeah. can do without him. Ua, that is it me. Oh, I'm saying. Okay. I'm just okay. thinking that in my head, though, why would she go uh, that length? That's to the guy do and that? the other girl. That's the guy and the other you know, girl. Yeah, that's the they've been together. This lady, for him to have stayed with her all through this while, it tells me something that there is something that this lady does to this man that okay wasn't given to I him. I just want oh, to wait, one second. Let me let me let me come to Nima. I want to hear Nima on this matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My opinion, Elijah, <laughs> <laughs> on this is that because when I saw everything, what attracted me to token because I didn't know her, I don't, I don't do vlogs and all, I don't watch them. What attracted me to token was the usual comments on her husband, you know, my brown mm -hmm. sugar, wait, oh, my rock, and all that, always praising him, yes, in public. Wait, mm -hmm. now you can praise your husband at home, but you know, going Thank online, you, all you the time, hey, showing so much love online, we don't know how it is in the house, <sighs> but online for her husband. And then, why is she surprised that he's like this? Because ah. he's an African man and a polygamist by nature. Ah. 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 Don't go there. Let me land, my Don't point. go there. No, let me land. Let me land. You know, I said something yesterday when this topic came up. I was like, Aosa mm. Laosanje, Akpole Nimola. That is who an African man is. Check how long this girl has been in the picture. So I cannot, you know, we African women, that's the, the first thing that like, we live in delusion. We like to, we like to be in denial. Yeah, my husband is not This, this man, no, this man, okay, <laughs> your own is not like that, amen. But this man, this man in question yes. is polygamist in nature. And this girl has been in the picture for a like long me. time. I People like who commit totally to Toke. I don't Toke like cannot me. go online and give vlog, uh, uh, whatever, relationship advice, knowing that this girl was this, okay, was dating uh, But Toke said something woman. yesterday, which we all know. Well, that, like when you when he teach you about that, oh my for all good. Good. so maybe she was over me. That no. when, when you have something that is good, you're supposed to keep it quiet. So are you saying are you suggesting no. that because Mimi she came Obe to public, came no. out on this issue and said something that I, I, I held, you know, in my left hand, like mm. the, I held as you see, she said to her that when you think something is of value to you and that it makes you happy, you don't tell the whole world just to you know express what Jumoke said in that proverb. You don't tell the whole world mm. about it because you know some people somewhere some bad belly can just you know say okay, that is what makes her happy. That's what I can take away from mm. her. Toke was too much in the pic in the in public, public about eye. how her husband is everywhere, everywhere and everywhere okay. and everywhere. Oh, you should I want to say no. I want know. to say something. I feel that we are taking this thing. We are, we are, we are bringing it from the surface. Mm -hmm. I feel the this the marriage itself had issues right from the beginning. Yeah, One, they've been. The, they, they, were dating, they dated for 12 years, on and off, on and off. She dated, she's been dating this guy, this lady, the other side chick, for seven years. Concurrently. Concurrently. Okay. Now, you and must not be jumping jumping into Are marriage. Are you trying to lie? Listen. Tell me now that Tokpe was lying to herself that she didn't know that the girl was in the picture. Let me say. So that's, you should have your own better than the girl Don't you now. get? I'm, what I'm saying is that you do not fall on that. Women, we need to be careful about when we decide to marry. Let's not be pressured in mm, any way. No. That is what I, why I say there's a problem from the beginning. Mm. She knew there was another girl. Mm. She knew that was probably still sleeping with her even in marriage why did you decide to marry and the like, marriage was sudden extremely I like, sudden i like that point because you see the objective of the discussion is to learn mm. so you say right. you have a fiance who there's no so but you think you're the better chick 
So you are now the new chick, and you feel that, and he's and he's professing love to you, yeah. and you feel that you know what I should marry this person. So should somebody, somebody in that situation, are you saying that the person should not even marry? If a Why? man has cheated on you in them. relationship, he will cheat in marriage. Why? Let's jump on the side chick, chick part of the issue. Now this girl was in the picture, and I cannot vouch that okay did not know about her because when she facebook? opened her facebook page she used to put pictures of herself and talk as husband and people would ask her is this your guy position. she would say yes mm -hmm. so they were dating concurrently so maybe token knew about it and broke it up and then because the guy married her, she felt that she won. But the side chick never left. Because mm. she said to Toke, you can never take this man from me. You can let imagine. Me, let me speak to Ava. Ava, are you there? I am there. Good morning. Ava, please go ahead. Uh, this is happening every day, every day with this camp. Because of the woman that celebrates, that's why you put it to take him serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now this is not lucky. He said this is uh, happening every day because the woman is celebrating. African, common African something now. So, oh, they, so Abba, what do you say is the solution? Should she not go and remove all the wedding pictures? Wait now. Take them easy. This thing they happen every day. If you don't take them easy, they go break with their husband. Oh, woman will take over. This is it. So, take them easy. No solution. Thank you, Abba. Solution. No, no. I want to answer one second. One second. One second. One second. I want to say one second. If I were okay, because you were saying that. Solution. No, the truth is that honestly speaking, I think she relegated her duty as a wife. Ah. No, solution, I am saying, solution. So, no, wait, to the solution, wait. see, mm. that, that act of um, taking out his pictures, does it, does it mean that she never valued... She's angry. Oh, calm down. You don't act irrationally, no matter how ah. angry you are. He's your husband. Uh -huh. Except if you did not take those vows seriously. <laughs> well, let me now what tell you. What are you saying? Let, no. let me put it in clear terms for you. <laughs> now... It is clear that the side chick is winning. That no, is no. It. If you if you act irrationally to the extent that you know you start to put things that are supposed to be of value to you in that marriage, the side chick is truly winning. Okay. If Tucker wants to show that girl that she's not winning, okay. okay. She she should should have have what happened to Bill Clinton no. and when he, when uh, when and Monica Lewis kiss? Uh, what did what did Nima, the wife do? She stood she by held him. his hand and yes. stood by him. Let, no. to talk him. But is he hmm. remorseful? We don't no, know. You're not going to the But let me let me talk to Ugo. Ugo, are you there? Hello, Ugo. Good morning. Good morning, please go ahead. Good morning, Mariah. I'm a first time caller. Oh, I'm paying hey. good to you, my belly. Let me write it down. All right, uh, Mariah, actually, yeah. this is not an, an everyday topic. But um, since you brought this up, let's, um, let, me put, let me put it this way. Okay. Dr. Mark and I just, just came up from nowhere, just she was up in everybody's face. Yes. You understand? Yeah. You, my, my take on this issue is that when you are a celebrity, you keep your private relationship private. Thank you. You understand? Sorry. On this issue now, I think the best solution to this issue is she will go back to her husband yes. and when they come back together, they should keep it private Thank and not you. bring it up ah. in anybody's yes. face anymore. Okay. Sorry. All right. Thank you so much. I want to you. address something. Ali Baba made a statement. She po he posted something a few days ago. He said that it is not the most beautiful ma woman that keeps uh -huh. the man. He's not the best person in bed that keeps the man. He said he's a man that wants to be kept, mm. that would stay at home. Mm. Bone all that statement about yeah. she's not doing the right thing. If a man wants to look outside, you can give it to him morning, afternoon, night. You yeah. can be the best cook. True. You can be the most loving. And you go and meet a very big True. person outside. I like, Let I me like, finish. I like that. Let me finish. Mm. Now, no. if the man wants to cheat, he will cheat. Now, no. it is, I feel that the side chick in the is the problem. We as women, why do you want to be a side chick? Don't you have pride and dignity in yourself? Hey, 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 okay. she's you know she's married. All right, let me take this call from Abel Kuta. Belo, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Please go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please, uh, apologies before I say what I want to say. Ah, uh, I want you people to realize that uh, we have won 80 million Nigerians. And so a few people cannot make themselves the standard for how everyone should live. So that aside, you see, Toke made a home mistake. The husband made his own mistake. But the point is, um, Nima and uh, Osal really hit the point on the head. There is no standard in marriage. It depends on how you manage it. Okay. Toke did not manage that man very well. The reality is this. I'm a man, and I must tell you the truth. It takes a lot of uh, dedication mm -hmm. and time for me to speak to my wife. You know. I've been married for about 10 years, and he's been the only one. But I know what I go through every day going around with my regular friends and I had to, you know, force myself to avoid doing some things. 
Every man cannot do that. By nature, the average African man is a polygamy. Hmm. I have a lot of them around me. I know it is the truth. But we don't have that habit of discipline. Okay. That is the truth. Most men will tell you you are the, you are the best in your face. They do a lot of rubbish outside there that you wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. I have a friend that smoke until then the wife has never suspected him smoking. And she keep boasting that she will never marry a smoker. Okay. Hey. Imagine. So that one is the woman's fault. So, so that's the thing I'm telling you that the woman don't have to be too trust. She, she, she mustn't put too much trust on what her husband is doing. She must respect and believe he is doing the right thing. Okay. But she must also be watchful to know yes. if those right things he claims to be doing at home are the truth. All right, so now, yeah. so my point. Hey, man, man, so man. Let me come to you, Moke. I to talk okay. and say two things. First, Toke, we don't know if she's pregnant yet. And this other lady, as much as you are saying, why do you want to be a side chick? She was dating the guy for seven years. There must have been some Papa. attachment. And she said it to the wife, someone Listen. else. And she said to the wife, you're not going to take him away from me. Maybe she felt cheated. And she thought, okay, you're married. You're not getting pregnant. He comes to me all the time. She got pregnant. Secondly, how does a wife allow her husband open a spa for a woman without her knowing? What do you say allow? If you want to hide, the man will hide. There is no way you monitor somebody 24 hours in a day. You don't have a life. Okay, let me take your life. Let me take Yakub's If a man wants to be bad, he'll be bad. Good morning, Yakub. Are you there? Thank you. I'm there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you all. Morning. Don't mind my voice. You see, the truth is this. I quite agree with Sister Nima. And then on the other side, I agree with Hua earlier. Because, and then I'm very sure if Sister Yeni is here this morning, she will totally agree with uh, Sister Nima. Are you getting it? Because mm. naturally, naturally, all men are polygamous. Mm. But whether we like it or not, I'm talking with experience. As a last caller rightly said, are you getting it? I'm married almost 15 years now. I know what I passed through too. So you understand? Mm. The truth is this. If you now gather 100 men, it will be very difficult for you to see 10 that will stay through of all these hurdles. She understands. The only thing is that the woman, the lady in question, she does not ma manage that as well. very well. Okay, That's thank you so much, Jacob. Uh, I want us now, I'll, I'll, I'll take some tweets, but I want us to start thinking, if it happened to you, Uwa, hmm. you, you know, you, you, you're getting, hope oh, by God's way, I'm getting married very soon. You're in a fantastic relationship, somebody who loves you to die. But tomorrow, you know, you can't find out there's a, there's a chick out there. That's pregnant or for he's him. Or pregnant for him or something. Or Would you go ahead with the marriage? giving birth for him. Or he says, you know, yeah, that's, you know that's giving birth or whatever. Would yeah. you go ahead? Yeah, and what? also, also, those of us that are married, mm -hmm. you find that somehow that this is your faithful pastor, tongue-speaking tongue husband, mm -hmm. child somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and maybe a two-year-old child. I mean, that, 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 that no, relationship is very, very... very oh, what would you do? Let's put ourselves in our shoes for a second. We'll answer that, but let me take you take tweets first. Oh, don't let me forget what I was going to say. Okay, go ahead. Because... As much as I'm in this relationship right now, things come to me like this. The first thing in our relationship is communication, honesty, be truthful. So whatever happens, there's a girl on your case, let me know, let's deal with it. God forbid a thing like that happens. It's not to abandon the guy. Especially if you show sincerity. Men are chased by women. Men chase women. Now, if it was a mistake, you know, in the sense that this woman was just on my case, I didn't know what to do. It's not for you to now leave him to the dogs. Is to support him and be with him, especially if you're married to him. Thank and you. if you <laughs> know that he's sincerely remorseful. Eh, well, but if you're not sure, we are not, not, sure not remorseful. Of the well, let me take this call from um, Muiz. The man sponsored the Muiz, are you there? Baby abroad. Yes, good morning, how are you? Good morning, please go mm -hmm. ahead. Yes, let me, let me ask a man, when you are married, you have to be disciplined. That's what you need for. I've been married for 16 okay. years and I've known my wife for 20 years. It's not as if I don't see women or I don't appreciate women, but it the ends there. Let me tell you, since I'm married, I've appreciated a lot of women, but it does not go beyond that. God bless Once you. Once you are married, you must be disciplined, and that's what it takes. The way I was brought up, even before I got married, my father does not allow you to have more than a girlfriend at the time. The moment he sees you with two girls, you have problems, and mm. it affects all my brothers. So, since I got married, I've never had any right. other Thank woman so apart from my Thank wife. Thank you very much, Moise. And that is... Now, because I, 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 I also want us to see, what are the signs 
that we should mm. be looking out for as women to know this kind of thing because sometimes like i have seen i, I mean like, let me talk about myself i have seen where my husband is saying ah that girl is beautiful i will tell a young girl oh you're a very beautiful girl and i'm wondering to myself like okay is why are you this? is it no but i know that he was just trying to encourage her but maybe a young girl that she should give her giving her self-esteem but there's some people that can take that in the wrong way so what size should we look out for but before we do that let's see some tweets please uh, <laughs> mr light says talk where sometimes you make me laugh Alaja and Ua with Jumi are eating it. No matter how happy you are, don't tell the world the whole story. Samuel Ojima said, men should learn to be faithful and women should also learn how to manage their husbands and not exposing them to outsiders. Okay, Nima? Um, if, a, if a story says, this is just a lesson to women that believe career is everything. Learning to keep a man is another career. Let it's me pause you me. quickly. Let me take Fumi Tola. I don't want to lose her call. Fumi, are you there? Hello. Hello. Yes, please go ahead. Hello, good morning. My name is Simitola. Simitola, please go ahead. Yes, I think um, I would say that the Bible says that if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? I think the, the foundation was faulty from the start. Right from the beginning. And you know, I, I want to advise every woman out there that they should put their marriage on a foundation which is God. Don't go about chasing your man, looking at what he's doing or what he's not doing, but just let God handle it. Let God handle it. When I got married, I told God, I don't want to look at my husband's phone. I don't want to know what he's doing. I just want you to help me in this marriage so that he does not go astray. Okay. And God has been helping me so far. He has been helping me every time. I give all God all the glory. Okay. I don't God say it is me. Right. Because okay. before I got married, I have two children. Yes. My husband never had a child before I married him. Mm. And he has been faithful to me. Mm. And it is not because I am beautiful or anything. But mm. God has been my foundation. Fantastic. They have been my helper. Thank you, Fumisola. Fantastic, it. Fantastic testimony. Thank you, Fumisola. Can, yes. Can I say that um, Christians, when they say that um, if the foundation be destroyed, there are some foundations that are destroyed from the beginning. What is the way forward? Mm. If you look at this case, it's a clear case of somebody is deciding not to be selfless. Somebody is deciding to show pride. Let me tell you something. It's a big shame. Calm down, Tokwe. It's a big shame on her for her to be... Do you know what it means? <clears throat> you giving relationship ex, uh, advice, advice and your own. She cannot, she, cannot, she cannot find herself going back to, 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 to say, ah, let her be humble enough to say, no matter what, I will keep my man. Why is, she not, why is she not giving advice in these kind of uh, cases? Oh, she needs to come. Listen, whatever it is, she is the one that he decided to put that ring oh. on her finger. You must learn to compromise. You must learn to say, okay, you know what? You have made a mistake. I will forgive you. Do you understand? Mm. The man will take the girl abroad to have the baby. He has the money. He wants, a, he wants an American citizen for a child. Okay. Let me take Wale's call. Then we'll take more tweets. I know, I know there are serious tweets. To, uh, yeah, good morning. To come Hi, Wale. Come Please come in. I'm fine. Yes. How are you doing, girls? Ladies, what ladies? What ladies, girls? sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So I think I'm going to support Nima on this kind of issue. Nima is very popular this morning. Because the man, uh, the, the man has a, has to have like a baby in, in, a, in a marriage. The woman should be the one to keep her home. Because I have experiences. I come from a divorce home and I also have a divorce marriage, oh. uh, which couldn't last long due to the unbearable instances of my wife. Men are somehow polygamous by nature, most African men. Somehow. It mm -hmm. is an inbuilt thing. You know, the way that it is uh, move around in Lagos or in Nigeria, you can't compare it to some countries. So you have to keep on praying and advising your men. I think Tokyo made a mistake by going public uh, with the secret of our relationship. Mm. Because how you manage your home is a secret, mm -hmm. which nobody should know. She will be publicized. Mm. You know how to win the heart of your man. Mm. So for the other lady to come in, I think she made the biggest mistake by Fantastic. broadcasting the man on the on Thank the, you so much, Wale. Thank you. Let's take some tweets, please. Yes, oh, says, one that the value of virginity. Oh, you said advice. African culture. Second, I need to, yes. The value Go ahead, of virginity. We didn't hear you. We didn't hear you. Remy says, the value of virginity in African culture made their men polygamous instead of adulterers. Loss of values now allow men to do whatever they like. And um, Olutosi, sorry, Samuel Ojima says, men should learn to be faithful and women should also learn to I manage think, their husbands I and not exposing them to us. Professor Chris Wakobe has said, call a spade a spade. Men are promiscuous but not evil. The home is a woman's to build. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. what, do you have any Mariona thing? says, the caller before Fumi Sola spoke about parenting. Parents should train their boys well. And Jimmy Wallace says, I can never go uh, for public figure to marry 
most of them don't last in relationship and Oku Saga says hmm I know fit answer this question at all because right now I'm I'm talking with one uh, one ex <laughs> laugh out loud God help us okay. Nima. <laughs> I have something so you asked the question that what if, if it happens a month to my ma wedding a friend came to to the because um, back then I was still in my final mm. year and she came to class and was like Nima what if you find out that there's a woman who has a child for your husband and she appears just this month a month to your wedding what mm. would you do I say it's my own husband it's me he proposed to me I will marry him Thank she you. should bring the child that we raise him hey. because it is very important if you don't open your mind to certain things a lot of shocks will be happening in the okay. future very I like, I like that because I want all of us to tell our own advice to, to so in, in this kind of situation so I like I like that, 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 that but let me let you finish what I want her to do mm. is take back her home. Mm. Let this woman always remain an outsider and she'll get tired of stealing at some point. Because she will always, but the moment she gives her that chance to, you know, to go ahead with her husband and, and continue to be angry, that woman is winning. Mm. So my advice for her is to take okay. back her home. Talk about you want to run with another advice um, on that? I want to say that one thing about marriage is that two people have become one in every instance. You need to be one with your husband. You need to be aware. You need to know when he's going astray. You need to be sensitive to him per second. And uh, you know what you said? How do you know when you're being cheated on? One of my friends had a case. He said, my husband has not taught me for two weeks. Something is wrong. You need to know his body language. You must, nobody must know your husband more than you. Mm. Mm. When you, there's a distance between you, then somebody else can come in. But if you are your husband's best pal, mm. nobody okay. can come in. Let me jump to her. Now, ultimately, mm. I still ask for the help of the Holy Spirit. Because the truth is that one man called and said discipline. I don't think discipline is a solution to any man. A man, no matter how disciplined he is, might still cheat on you. Even if but false. yes, mm. so you need to invite the help of God. You need to invite the help of the Holy Spirit mm. to help you mm. keep that man in check. Okay. Pray for your husband, your own husband. Mm. Mm. Yes. I think that the society should never ever castigate a woman who finds herself in Toke's situation. situation. It's mm. not her fault. It's her husband who slept with someone else. Yes. He's the one who broke their marriage vows. Mm. So uh, right now we should support Toke. Exactly. Um, I think that she should stay in her marriage. She should focus on God. Let God be the one who will solve the mm. problem. Yes. I think she should then after make her husband her priority. Mm. We you. all want a career. You want to add to your own, but that's secondary. Mm. Let your husband, if he's traveling and you need to go with him, and follow you him. To leave your job, follow him, you know, mm. because she has made this mistake. I think she can come out stronger, come out stronger yes. from this situation. Mm. For me also, for, for someone like me, um, I know when I was, before I got married, somebody told me that, listen, um, think of everything, all the worst things your husband can mm. do for you. Start thinking about it. Is he cheating on you? Yeah. Is it uh, having this? Think advice. of everything and start forgiving him from now. Before mm -hmm. you even enter the marriage, start thinking about, start picturing every possibility. Yes. The only one I can't forgive him for is incest. Mm -hmm. But everything else in my head right now, I forgive him ahead of time. So once that happens, I'm not surprised. In fact, I'm prepared for it. Yeah. You, you have an yes, idea yeah. of what, what you strategy. You are a woman of valor. So, mm. so, that, so that's, those are the various advices we have. So, society, women out there, so yeah. yeah. Society should not make it seem like it is a normal thing. Mm. It is not normal. Let's yeah. raise our men to hold the sanctity of marriage. marriage. Because, yes. you know, okay, there are men who are not cheating. Yes. Oh, there, are. there are men who no, are not cheating. So, it's possible something. to have a marriage. That man that is not che che uh, cheating, Moriah, it's not just discipline. There's a higher power over his head that yes. is keeping him. Yeah, the society yeah. Do you understand? But the society is saying that it's not a normal yes. thing. Yes. So, the name is not a polygamous. They're not polygamous. They're not, not, hey, hey, not all no, men are polygamous. So yeah. Yeah. Me, yeah. I accept it. That is my faith. Hey. My husband can't be polygamous rather than be an adulterer. I will open, open my mind not to it. Me, so my own husband is that's not the way I'm dealing with mine. You can deal with your husband. The husband me, I met though that we will be different. It's a religion. It's a religion. Not all Nigerian men are polygamous. There are some that are actually single-minded and they want just to be. And some that are 60 years Married and they was only married to one woman. So okay, okay. Mackin, we'll do what uh, Hillary Clinton did. Hold no, your I man. I just want to bless uh, right. her that God will put his hand into her marriage. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Correct On that note, foundation. we can end this segment. I hope someone learned something. Yes, mm. sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. You can watch a repeat broadcast at midnight tonight. You can also watch previous episodes by going to YouTube slash TV Entertainment and search for Your View. Or you can catch us on Google Plus and search for TVC Entertainment. We had a fantastic week today, this yes, week. Yes, yes, so yes, next yes. week is another week. See you Monday. Bye-bye.
Yes.